Hey, what's up? This is Mike Locke with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm going to walk you through uh, how to build a WordPress page template. And what you're looking at is my website, ML Web Consulting. It's uh, mlwebco.com. And if you go there, you'll notice that uh, I have a my home page looks like a, a regular uh, regular page, and it doesn't look like a normal standard blog page. So when you normally go to a WordPress uh, site, you normally see something like this. You'll see, you know, recent posts and your 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 blog posts on the left. But when I created my WordPress blog, I didn't want to have this be my homepage. When somebody come to ML Webco, I wanted them to come to a custom designed homepage. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. It's very simple. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do, uh, build your HTML page, your home page. And I took time to actually design this. So you can, for this test, uh, you can pretty much just use a static, um, a static HTML page. And all you want to do, you want to include this code. And here's the syntax, uh, template name colon home page. So you want to include everything that you see that I'm highlighting here okay and template name colon whatever you put here it doesn't have to be home page but whatever you put here is what's going to come up later on uh, you're going to need to remember that name so for my purpose I use I put a home page because this is what I'm going to use it for okay so you save it you can save it it doesn't matter what name you save it as it doesn't have to be indexed or home page you can save it as you know any other file name um, so you save it then you go to your you FTP that file as you can see here it's home page and all I did was FTP the file to my themes folder that I'm using so in this case uh, WP content themes default I'm using default as my as, a, as the theme and uh, for my WordPress okay so I just FTP that to my site and I've already done that, so you see the file here, homepage.php. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, that's a log in to your WordPress admin section. Go to pages, and you want to create two pages. One page uh, for your homepage template. In this case, I'm calling the page name here home page. You can call it whatever you want. And the important part here is under the attribute section under templates, you want to select the template that you've recently uploaded to your to your uh, to your themes folder. In this case, the name home page here is what's going to show in your templates drop down. So you, I select home page and all I do is update. You can leave this area blank just to update. So once that's done, you then want to create another page for which is going to be your blog page where all your blog posts exist. So in this case just title it blog and template just leave it default okay update and you're done so you should have two pages at the end one for your home page template and one for your blog okay once you're done with that you want to go over to your settings section under reading and this is important you want to select the radio button that says a static page this is what you want your front page to display just select a static page and on this drop down where it says front page choose home page and for your post page just choose blog okay you save it once you save it visit you know you can check your site now and your main domain page 
for your blog should be showing the page that you've created, that static HTML page that you've created. And then all you have to do is link to forward slash blog and that will give you the blog post page. So here you have it. I have a website that's built on the WordPress framework and I'm using the home page as a standard static HTML page and my post page exists on a page that I created called blog. Um, maybe you were interested in this as I was and uh, you can find some great use for it and so feel free to run the video back, stop it and pause it at different sections. I know I've run through this pretty quickly but if you have any questions shoot me an email at mlock at mlwebco.com or reply to the uh, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you and hopefully uh, you've enjoyed it. Uh, look out for more videos and uh, we'll be talking soon.